have your orders. Now go, and may the Emperor protect you. I do not care for all this sneaking about. I know, old friend. You always have preferred the direct approach. We have the Imperial Guard. Why not send them into battle instead of treating them like glorified shepherds? If we meet the Orcs in force, they cannot possibly stand before us. We have fought the Orc a hundred times before. They thrive on war. A direct assault on them would likely improve their morale and simply attract more of them. The casualties would be enormous. What are the Imperial Guard for if not to die for their Emperor? At the very least, we should retain a regiment to remain at our core. We have little support this far out. We would not want to be remembered for our carelessness. We, old friend, or me? We are brothers, Gabriel. You know better than to ask that question. I know what this is about. There was nothing you could have done to save Cyrene. Do not mention that place again, Isidore. Cyrene was my home world. My responsibility. Scout Team 3, do you copy? Yes, my lord. The local Imperial Waterworks has fallen into Orc hands. If we are to reclaim this area, we must first retake this position. Scouts have infiltrated ahead of you and will assist you in your reconnaissance. If things prove to be more than you can handle, reinforcements will be mobilized to assist. Getting into position. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to mission two of Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War. With orcs. They should infiltrate to sneak past them. Do not get too close, or we may be spotted. Excellent. Your scout marine squad is now invisible to all enemies except for commanders. Keep in mind, though, if you are attacked, your invisibility will be broken, and some time will pass before you can utilize it again. This is another one you could basically say tutorial mission where we get introduced to the scouts of the space marines Which is as they state scouts they they're very good for exploring the map But they're also very good for getting requisition or, or capturing listening posts Another good ability is their sniper rifle ability, which is exactly what we're gonna be using right now Guarding a strategic point Scout team 2 is upgraded with sniper rifles They will make short work of these orcs Scouts in position. Now, enemies what makes the sniper rifle position. so very effective? It's very good at breaking the enemy's morale, uh, which in this case did not happen. But you can see it takes a lot, like 100 morale per shot. That's a lot. So uh, you can definitely use them uh, for morale breaking purposes and you can quickly take out their units as well. But uh, as you can see, it's also very, very slow at reloading. Um, so... Be careful, but scouts then again, I mean, orders. scouts are very expendable. So you could use that to your advantage. As stated in the previous scouts video, that the, once the morale drops, so does the effectability of orders. these units. We will take them down from here. Okay. We will take them down from here. Scouts charge. There is an orc Our patrol. Wait true. for them to pass before we attempt to sneak by. For sure. We should capture that listening post in the meantime. And yeah, wait for this group to pass. We will come back in order to capture this strategic point over here. And yeah, I keep on calling it listening post because of the building that you build on top. We'll come and capture this afterwards after we get our Space Marines brothers to come and help deal with this small little army over here. In the meantime, what we're going to be doing is just get our units in a position over here. And then get rid of this little group over here. So while this is happening, let's get these guys to join our... Small group of scouts over there. Uh, definitely make sure that we don't run into this group. Otherwise, they will be spotted and they will be killed instantly. We kind of need both groups in order to be successful. Now, it should also be noted that if you do lose your scouts, the Space Marines are just going to drop immediately. 
Um, so you don't really lose by doing this. It's just, of course, a lot more beneficial to do it the stealthy way. The enemy is in uh, another thing to note was mentioned by by the force commander that orcs thrive in war and battle and that is because when orc armies reach a certain capacity and they go into battle their morale is basically immune so that 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 very quickly turns them into a deadly force so yeah definitely keep that in mind when you're fighting against the orcs it will make them incredibly strong there's our target, my lord. A large orc commander who looks like he's in charge of this scouts awaiting order to kill him. Or severely No, 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 no. Down from here, scouts in position. Do not attract that army, are you stupid? Scouts here. Alright. Scouts awaiting orders. Yes, my lord. Okay, so they're... There we go. That, that's good. I command in the name of the We will take it from here. Okay, put them into control group two and get these guys to deal with the rest. Yeah, we're gonna make short work of this group. The morale is way too low. First of all, second of all, our space marines are too strong for uh, uh, slugger boys. Now, Slugger boys are basically the equivalent of the, I would say, the scouts. Not incredibly strong, but you can make a ton of those. So, um, yeah. Pretty nice, pretty nice cannon fodder units. Now, we're going to go and clear out this area first before we go back, because we want to get our base up and running as quickly as possible. Fortunately, these buildings are going to fall very quickly, and we are going to be using our scouts to capture the listening post. Gonna make short work of everything over here. Maybe we want to, we can make more scouts, but not needed. We're just gonna be focusing on a uh, normal Space Marine army. So after we've cleared out all of this, we will get our servitors. And then, um,. We will start building our base and go and secure that area area over there. We have to clear out all of the orcs in this level. So it's going to take a little bit of time to complete this. But fortunately not too long. The orc forces aren't that strong. And uh, for that reason... Yeah, we'll be tearing through the most that they have to offer. We will be seeing some orc mech though. But fortunately space marines have missile launchers which make short work of mech related units. The waterworks are under our control. Now we must start building a base before we hunt down the rest of the orcs. All right. Let us capture these strategic points and establish a base of operations. Okay, one of them can start building. The other one can start capturing the the strategic points. At your command. Scouts here. Praise the Emperor. Yeah, we're gonna make short work of this group. Very, very short group. Well, uh, short work. Okay. Whoopsie daisy. Hopefully they will survive. If they don't, it's not a big deal. He's literally just... Oh, he just didn't make it. Oh well. Still gonna get this listening post. Okay, after this one is done... That up and running. Ah, what the hell, let's just have an even number. That's how much of a perfectionist I am. Today the enemy shall know fear. Yes, most beneficent one. This day shall be a glorious one. Scouts awaiting orders. Great. Yes, that at least is now over and done with. He who stands with me shall be my brother. Yes, 
I didn't really mention this in the previous video, but this game, even on insane difficulty, is really not that insane. Um, the difficulty is pretty much normal for most RTS games. Now, granted, if this is the first time that you're playing the game, then yeah, it's it's, it's probably a good idea not to start off on insane difficulty. But the campaign itself is. It's, it's, it's in some cases a bit of a pushover, even even on this difficulty. So, um, I'll, I'll nonetheless show you how it works and so forth. Because the game doesn't really require micromanagement and only focuses on macro management for the majority of the game, it means that playing the game, or the campaign at least, is pretty easy. You just need to maintain all of your things and make sure that everything is in order. Now... This being said, it doesn't mean that Insane Difficulty and Skirmish is a pushover, because it's not. For Skirmish, it's a different story. Skirmish, it's incredibly difficult to play on Insane Difficulty, so I'm, I'm literally just speaking about the campaign. So once the armory is over and done with, then we're going to get our unlocks and uh, upgrade the Stronghold. And then we're ready to move out. Now, we want to move out as soon as we have rocket launchers because of a unit for the orcs called the Killer Can. And the Killer Cans are incredibly powerful and durable and you do not want them to get close to your, to your unit. On alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. Okay, uh, um, aren't we supposed to get access? Uh, maybe we should explore a bit first. Alright, let's clear out this area. We might suffer some orc attacks while being away from our base, but it's not a big deal. Sooner or later, we should get access to upgrading our listening post. If we upgrade our listening post to fortified versions, it means that the requisition that we get out of it is also a whole lot more. So definitely nice having. Alright, yeah, I think let's just go. Alright, so there we go. Now, now we're busy getting our stronghold upgraded. And then we can go about getting better weapons. In the meantime, we are going to get our flamers. And uh, what we are going to do is we're going to split the heavy bolters with rockets as well. Uh, the reason being is because they do have the same amount of range. So having two heavy bolters and two missile launchers is just going to provide a nice little balance. And then those with the flamers, we're going to be giving them them plasma guns instead. Let's see. So our force commander is taking a little bit of damage. Once his life gets too low, we are just going to attach him to one of our squads to keep him out of harm's way. Now, if he dies, it's not the end of the world. He's just literally going to respawn, which is pretty cool. We can for shits and giggles get another group, because why not? Now usually if you fight against the orcs, a very good approach would be to take down their war banners. Now, uh, this is... Sergeants will inspire your space marine squads to greater feats of heroism. And rocket launchers will make short work of boss Now, it should be noted that if you go up against an orc player, they will be making hundreds of these things. And um, taking them all out is not going to be that easy, of course. But if you can, it's it's really going to do a lot of damage to the, the, the orc supply. So yeah, if you see these things, definitely focus on destroying them. They, they don't do that much damage. Like I mentioned in the previous level, that you don't want to just charge into an orc base, but if you see how quickly they fall once you have something like rocket launchers, it's not, it's really not a big deal. 
Okay, so we're only gonna have one plasma for each. Um, that's not that bad because we are not really facing heavy, uh, heavy infantry. Upgrade an existing listening post with the fortified position add-on. This upgrade will increase the requisition income Today, and the add better defenses to the listening post. Yeah, this basically fortified position. It, it it really does make a difference. So you do want to go about getting those up and running as quickly as possible for increased resources. So we're gonna start from the back and go up. With me shall be my brother. Got a nice little army going on here. Uh, sergeants are very important for boosting the morale of your units. It is devastating in close quarters fighting. And its armored hide will shrug off small arms fire. We must equip ourselves with missile launchers if we are to destroy the abomination. I am going to lower the voice volume even more because it is definitely mixing. Ah, little shit. Anyways, I'll probably not destroy it in time. Maybe we can save this Imperial Guard group. What? Oh, those were direct rocket hits. That's better. Much better. Yeah, this thing's damage is insane in close quarters, so yeah, be careful when facing them. Ah! Yes, we got some Imperial Guard. Awesome. Awesome, and moving on. Oh, tank bastards. Yeah, a little bit of a different kind of nuisance. Wonder if we'll be able to destroy them. So, uh, another little unit to take note of is the Skull Probe. Now, this is a very, very, very handy unit for the Space Marines. Now, it increases the squad side and the range. Very, very handy to use in almost any situation. Definitely make these and attach them to your squads. They also have the sabotage ability, which does a lot of damage to buildings. But for now, the important thing for us to do is just to attach them to our squads. Imperial Guard are equipped with plasma guns and grenade launchers. Grenade launchers are definitely a lot more effective against normal infantry, while the plasmas, as I mentioned, are effective against heavy infantry. Imperial Guard... Uh, squads are also incredibly big because their units are so weak so I, I think it goes up to 15 if I have it correctly um, and we're, we're gonna make use of that so we've got our shit in order yes upgrades are looking good requisition is looking incredibly good Let's see and attach them to our four Space Marine squads. In the meantime, just keep on making the Imperial Guard. Oh, actually, reminds me. Reminds me there is a little path over here. So let's go and clear this out before we advance even further. Um, we can... We can actually just send, like, two squads if we want to and split our army up. Like I said, it's, it's not difficult to deal with things in this level but let's just make things a little bit quicker and send in our entire army don't want to waste too much time and requisition is an overabundance that's for sure short work I usually like to have about two rocket squads in, um, oh, no, 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 run, 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 run. Usually like to have two rocket squads in my army because they do make short work of tanks. Now, I wouldn't split them up with heavy bolters necessarily. I would just commit them completely to, to having rocket launchers. So then you have eight rocketeers. Charge. 
And another little extra squad for us. We can turn this into a plasma squad if we want to. Now you don't necessarily have to right click on any units in order to attack them. If you have your alt stance or any of the aggressive stances in order, then yeah, you don't you don't have to worry about those. Oh, I forgot the force commander is supposed to go over there for reasons I don't really understand. If I have it correctly from what I remember. But we don't need the Force Commander in our fight. He's just... Yeah, he does a lot of damage and he soaks up a lot of damage. That's pretty much what makes him nice. So yeah, we're just gonna move forward with the army that we've got. Get like a bunch of grenade launchers coupled with plasma guns. I have it correctly, we're supposed to send him over here. Right? Not? Then what am I missing? Space Just cleansing the valley. Alright. Must be a glitch in the game. Ah, we lose our probes. Oh well. Not too bothered about getting more. It's not needed. Hey, wait a minute. Guys, 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 guys. Cannot do that. Jeez, you guys are not meant for melee combat. Yeah. Such short work. The grenade launchers are incredibly effective. What makes grenade launchers so effective is that lots of times it knocks units off of their feet. And that 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 really can make a difference because that is a lot of damage that the units don't end up giving. Now grenade launchers don't necessarily give a lot of damage to the area units, but it, knocking them off of their feet is pretty good. It, it damages the morale at the end of the day. Trust me, I've gone I've gone up against Imperial Guard opponents before and they just completely bombard me with their grenade launchers and then yeah makes your army pretty useless i'm a very big fan of playing chaos and uh chaos has got their own special abilities and things that they that they like to do but in this dawn of war the space marines and, the, and chaos are not that different of one another their space marines are pretty much the same have the same upgrades they 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 both have access to a tank called the predator tank and then from there on out it's just other smaller individual units that are different and of course the, the in-game material for or in-game content for both factions are different we're actually almost done with the level Smoke it. He's resisting a lot of damage from the rockets even. He's not gonna hold. Oh, how did I forget about this squad? Huh. Doesn't matter. I'll just turn them into a rocket squad make life a little bit easier for us.
my brother. Attacking as ordered. What would you have me do? Fate is our I await your instructions. He who stands with me shall be my brother. We will crush the enemies of the Imperium. I can click on this arrow over here if you want to see the rest of your squad. Especially if you, if you have a big one like this. Maybe a better idea to split up your 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 squad into two groups, but generally I just like to have my main force in control group one and my, my mech units in control group two. Maybe heroes in number three so that I can individually move them around. Yeah, this should be this should be the final section. Yes, because you can shoot through mountains. Now the great thing about grenade launchers is things incredibly long range that it's got. Probably a good idea to get our force commander out of the way. Maybe attach him to one of the squads. Almost at least. squad to move ahead and clear the company's path. Yes, brother librarian. I will suffer no trespass. Alright, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of mission 2 of the uh, first Dawn of War campaign. The shadowy figure that you just saw will later on be revealed as to exactly who and what it is, so definitely stay tuned for the later levels to come. As always, please like and subscribe, refer to your friends that would like to learn a little bit about Dawn of War, maybe get into this magnificent game, and of course I will see you for mission 3. Stay tuned.